I'm back, part two, on full age maturity. Full age is found in 513. For everyone that useth milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. But strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age or come to maturity. And you can set in church 30 years, never read on your own daily, and then become a studier and a student of the word, and eventually teach the truths of scripture, because they fall away or turn away from truth. The rebellion is a falling away from truth unto documentaries of men instead of the writings of the Holy Spirit the Bible. I begin to read part two here on full age maturity after another sip of coffee. Therefore, leaving the first principles of the doctrines of Christ. It isn't that you leave them and quit using them. You go beyond through the basics. All right. Basic training in the military. Two a days in football, practice, repetition, so it's synchronized, marching along in rank together in unity. Unity, one, harmony. You can have three different notes in a chord, but if you play the right chord with the right notes, it's in harmony and it inspires the human soul and mind. It can put goosebumps on your air, arms and make the hair stand up on your arms and the back of your neck. You're so emotionally moved by three different notes played correctly in harmony. Unity, one. And there's only one spirit. One spirit, holy truth, word. Spirit word, spirit first. Word connected to it, spirit word. We become born again of the spirit and we become sun saints of spirit word. I read, therefore, leaving the first principles of the doctrines of Christ, let us go on to maturity. King James says perfection. I take out perfection because we, as saint sons, are required to come to maturity. And there is no perfect flesh. The only perfect human that walked the face of the earth was God himself, word and spirit, in a host, a human body, the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Son of man, born through womb water. Son of man, son of God, born by the Spirit of God. The Holy Spirit, the power of the highest overshadowed Mary. So you Trinitarians out there, person God number three is the father of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because the Holy Spirit number three overshadowed Mary. And that is pure mental ignorance and stupidity. God is one spirit, the Father, the one spirit, the power of the highest, the one Holy Spirit truth, which is the Father, overshadowed Mary. There are not three persons, only one human person, the Lord Jesus Christ, many personalities, characteristics, and attributes, many titles, one name, one spirit, one God. Nowhere in the whole Bible can you get these three words together. I am three. And God doesn't imply. He makes perfectly clear. He is perfect and makes perfectly clear by repetition of threes and fours. And the ultimate is double four locked in major doctrine. Eight times of which I can present chapter and verse eight times that God is one. One spirit. Okay. Double locked in major doctrine eight times. And we look for a minimum of two. True witness, three major doctrine, four locked in major doctrine. <clears throat> Maturity. Not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith in. Remember, it's not faith alone anymore. It's faith in or faith in two or faith in to Christ anointing. The early church were Christ anointed believers. They were not Christians. They believed in the anointing and faith into Christ anointing. Christ means anointed. 
Messiah Christ, the anointed sent one. Messiah Christ, anointed. <clears throat> that anointing is the power of the Holy Spirit that opened blind eyes and raised the dead that worked through the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. On the doctrines of baptism, oh, back up, works and of faith into Christ toward God. Lord God, God Lord. Where's the first place you find Lord God in scripture? I know, Genesis 2, 4. Uh, I read on, of the doctrines of baptisms, plural. John, John's baptism, there was the Lord's Holy Spirit baptism, and now we are bathed, washed, made clean inside of conscience by regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit. But that's an immersing or a filling inside. So there's a different kind of baptism. The Spirit goes inside, and so does the Spirit Word go inside to your mind heart or your heart mind. Okay, laying on of hands and of the resurrection of the dead and eternal judgment, always spell eternal when you're born again instead of A-L with three E's. E-T-E-R-N-E-L with a dash underneath it. E-L is the first title, first strong and almighty. L, God's first title. El Yan, highest. I am the highest. I know of no other living gods before me or higher than me, is what the Lord said. Verse 3, and this you will do if God permit. You will go from the lesser glory of Moses to the greater unfading glory of the Lord Jesus Christ, eternal glory. This blurted out of my mouth one day by the Holy Spirit as I taught a men's class midweek in the evening. It started in glory. It's going to end in glory, glory, glorious and glorified eternal. It started in glory. It's going to end in glory, glorious, glorified eternal. It started in glory. It's going to end in glory, glorious and glorified eternal eternal. I said it three times, major doctrine. Verse 4, 6, 4 of Hebrews, for it is impossible for those who were once enlightened, we are saints, sons of the light, enlightened, and have tasted of the heavenly gift, and were made partakers of the holy one spirit word truth, spirit we are members of the it body, the spirit body. And you're not bride or bridegroom. You are spirit body of which he is the head. <clears throat> and have tasted of the good word of God and the power of the world to come. If they, if they shall fall away, as verse 5 begins. So it's about... It's about an apostasy. It's about a falling away. Uh, there's uh, two other words that are not coming to mind that I wish I could remember. Have you tasted his spiritual food? His word is life and food for your soul. His word will show you truth forevermore. His letters will show you the right way. His spirit will come and softly say, I know your name. Because your name is written in the book of life. The Lord Jesus said, if you'll confess my name and authority before humanity on earth, I will confess your name before the Father and his angels at your coming to glory. I love you. Spirit truth teacher here, Eugene Bear. Have a great day. Bye.